Hi, I'm Sarah Close with Keller Williams Realty. Thanks for listening today. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about a question I'm hearing an awful lot in the field uh, from sellers who are potentially in a distress situation, meaning they're either behind on payments or perhaps they owe more than their home is worth and they truly need to sell it uh, or frankly they're going to lose the house. Um, and the question becomes, why should I go through the short sale process? Meaning put my house on the market, keep it cleaned up, go through all of that extra hassle when I could turn it over to the bank and in either case I'm going to walk away with no money. And actually there's some very compelling reasons why you might consider a short sale process as a more effective long-term alternative than just going through a standard foreclosure. First and foremost, typically speaking, when a foreclosure hits your credit record versus a short sale, we're seeing a spread of severity of penalty of about 100 points. So meaning your credit has that much further to recover before you can be back into a good credit position. Secondly, if you ever have an interest in repurchasing a property, a seller will be qualified for Fannie Mae financing after just two years from their original short sale. When if they go through a foreclosure process, that actual Fannie Mae uh, eligibility won't kick in for another five to seven years. So it's a pretty significant time change in terms of eligibility to purchase again. Now, interestingly enough, when you do then qualify for purchasing, whether you've gone through a short sale and you qualify in two years or a foreclosure in five to seven, what we're also seeing are the down payment requirements be less strict with the short sale candidate. Typically up to about 10% down and we're finding with the foreclosure those are anywhere from 10% on up. So ultimately it makes buying a home in the future really a lot easier. And then also, what's interesting about a foreclosure is that information never does leave your permanent record. It will always be recorded at the courthouse as a foreclosure in your name. Whereas with a short sale, that incident will be completely removed from your credit report in seven years. So you basically get a clean slate. And that's pretty valuable in today's credit world. One thing I found was very interesting in reviewing what I'm seeing happen with short sales is on a national level, we're only seeing about 34% of the lenders actually look to file a deficiency judgment against their homeowners. What that means is if someone was short on their, on their loan, most of the time the bank is simply forgiving the debt. Yes, you have a hit to your credit. Yes, you've gone through a short sale process and unfortunately you're no longer in your home. But it's not typically, at least 66% of the time, it is not debt that will then follow you further on into your life. So you get a chance for a clean slate there as well. I hope this is helpful in kind of understanding the difference between those two options. Please let us know if we can do anything to help, and thanks for listening.